Hello and welcome to Pageant Access. My name is Danny Walker and today I'm going to be talking about the differences between open and closed locals in the Miss America system. In the simplest terms, you have to live, work, or go to school in the city that you're competing for for a closed pageant. An open pageant is just that. Anyone in the state is eligible to compete for an open pageant. Obviously, you have to meet the other rules of eligibility. But there are pros and cons to each side of this. If you want to compete for a closed local pageant, what's great about that is that there's usually less contestants and the contestants get a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time with the director and um, also the people that they might be bringing in to help you girls prepare for the pageant. They um, also sometimes have a couple more rehearsals or a couple more meetings or even um, some kind of group activities and appearances so to speak that you can go out to give you an idea of what it what it's going to be like to be a title holder for the Miss America system. Now, if you want to compete in an open pageant, that's also great because you're eligible for a lot more opens than you would be for closed pageants. Um, so you can, you know, you have more chances to be able to win a title and compete at the state pageant, which is usually your goal when you're competing in the Miss America system. Now the downside to open pageants is that there's usually a lot more contestants and the quality of the contestants increase because um, what happens is a lot of the times girls that have already won their local title want to come back to the state competition. Obviously if they haven't won the state title already, they want to come back, they want to recompete. So all the all those girls that have already won Miss America preliminary local titles are now competing in those open pageants. So it's a little bit harder to win an open pageant, and in some cases a lot of it, a lot of it harder to win an open pageant depending on the level of competitors that you're going to be competing against. So I would suggest if you do qualify for a closed pageant and you're new to the Miss America system or you're new to pageants, then first try that. Um, if you're like me and you didn't happen to have um, a local pageant within your city or you didn't go to school in a city that had a local pageant or you didn't work in a city that had a local pageant, then um, definitely start start applying for those um, open pageants. It can be a little bit trickier, but um, it's just one of those things that you have to do if you want to eventually win that state title. So I hope that this cleared up some things for anybody that was wondering the differences between open and closed pageants. If you guys have any questions, of course, please leave those in the comment section. Thank you again for watching, and I really hope that you guys subscribe so I can keep bringing you more videos to help you prepare for your next pageant.